today's video, we're going to be talking about AI. In particular, we're going to use chat GPT and I'll show you a little bit if I have, if I remember, I'll show you Google Gemini because those are the two that I tend to use. If you are new, returning, welcome. Here it is. So primary, we talk to each side hustles. <laughs> so there is a lot of talk about AI. Can you use it? If you can, what do you, do you do with it? I don't have all the answers. I'm just going to say that right now. I am not the expert, but I have been playing with it and I have been kind of keeping my ears out and reading things just to make sure everything's on the up and up. And I've run across things and then been able to figure and do a little bit of problem solving, troubleshooting, whatever you want to call it. AI has now been out for a few years and Teachers Pay Teachers still does not have an, a def, an in, in, definitive policy when it comes to AI. As far as I know, it's fair game. But the biggest thing you need to remember is that AI is taking its information. It's literally curating information that already exists on the web. That's where they're getting their information from. So then you need to figure out their sources. And all you have to do is ask. So I started using AI probably two years ago. I used it to help me create outlines for blog posts. So I had an idea and I'd say, I've got this idea for a blog post and I just, and it just, and I would say, I only need about a thousand words or I only need about 500 words. And it would literally outline it for me. I use it for YouTube videos. I'll say, I'm, I want my video to be about you know, five, 10, 15 minutes, what B-roll do you recommend? And it will, it will throw things <laughs> at me. Now, there are tons of AI pages out there. ChatGPT seems to be the most popular, but ChatGPT is a chat. There are AI um, websites regarding it with, when it has to do with creating images, whatever. There are ones for helping you with your business as far as clients and and you can get AI involved in automations for if you have a certain type of business. There are all these things. It's actually kind of crazy. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one of my conversations. Actually, I might even create a new conversation with AI. And then we're going to I'm going to show you some of the little glitches in AI. So let me turn the camera around and let's play. So we are in chatgpt.com. It is free. And one of the things I noticed right over here on the top right, it says temporary. You get this maximum length of how much you can say or have GPT pop out at you. And then it goes into temporary mode. I haven't even used this, but it resets itself every 24 hours. You can still use it, but then it goes into this temporary mode and then it will depend on what you want, whether it will do it or not. I haven't had any problem again because I'm not asking it to do other than, you know, give me ideas. I actually term one of my report cards. I wrote in a comment and I asked them to tweak the comment, make it sound more parent friendly. It did it. No problem. There is an AI program called Magic School AI, I think it's called. And it does specific things for uh, school. So that one might be one you want to check out if you're teaching still. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to say, good evening. I always am polite. <laughs> and actually, these are kind of fun because it'll, you can do an auto. So how was your day, right? And look, good evening. My day has been great. Helping people, answering in. Think, how about you? How was your day? Pretty good. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Okay. So what are we doing? I'm going to start with, um, I need a 200 word product description for a spring themed task card. So I'm going to, oh, sorry, spring themed set of boom cards. Let me just stop there and see what it says, okay? Here's a product description. Welcome to the season of growth and renewal with a spring themed boom card set designed for interactive and self paced learning. These digital task cards are perfect for keeping your young learners engaged and reinforcing key skills. Now this sounds great, 
right? And I'm gonna, I can use some of this, but it doesn't, it's not specific enough. It's too vague, even though a lot of this actually looks really cute and it actually gives me an idea for another set of boom cards. And here's what I like about ChatGPT is sometimes even when they don't get it right, it creates ideas for me to explore. Um, you can't quite see it off to the left is my history of chats. So they keep all your chats, which is great, but often like something like this, I will copy it and I'll put it into, in my Google drive. I have, I keep track of certain, um, product descriptions, product titles. I, you know, ideas that I'm playing with this, I would keep, but again, it's not specific enough. And they'll let what they say, let me know if you need any more tweaks. Yeah, I want, I need to tweak this. So let's say, can you re whoops, rewrite this as the sp spring theme is um, using flowers and baby animals to reinforce the skills of counting and addition to 10. Okay, so now I become more specific. It is catered to kindergarten, garden, and grade low level grade ones. I've become more specific. So now let's see what they're gonna say. Welcome, to, welcome spring with this adorable interactive boom card set designed to help kindergartens and early grade one learners master counting in addition to 10. See right there, I'm liking, okay, that's pretty good. Featuring cute baby animals and vibrant spring flowers, this digital resource makes math engaging and fun. Students will count flowers, match baby animals to numbers, and solve simple addition problems all through an interactive drag and drop, multiple choice. See, there are, there, I haven't even, this one is, hasn't even been finished. And they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I haven't told chat what this spring theme boom, set of boom cards are. But if you'll notice, they're giving me drag and drop, multiple choice, fill in the blank. Okay, I'm thinking, oh, so do I have those in the, that boom card deck? And the answer is I don't have, I don't have um, drag and drop, so I can remove that. So it's really important that you read it before you just go, oh, let's just copy and paste this because it may not be accurate. By the way, when I post this on, actually I, it is posted on, on TPT, you do have to add another paragraph regarding this person needs to have a boom account in order to run, to use these. So here is this product. So I can use this. And now I'm gonna ask it for a title, right? So I use Seller Spy a lot to come up with better titles, but let me see what chat GPT. I'm gonna say my current title, counting and addition to 10 spring themed boom cards. Can you suggest a better keyword rich title? Uh, the maximum length, again, you've got to feed it the information. The maximum length is 80 characters. If you didn't know that. Okay, so it will pop up a few of them. So spring boom cards counting in addition with baby animals. I wouldn't do the first one. Counting in addition to boom cards spring theme i wouldn't do that eh, so most of these are pretty much the same the only one that's really different is they've added kindergarten in number fours see flowers and baby animals i don't believe would get you any farther up the ranking they're saying that they are optimized with strong keywords for searchability here's where i go the next step Those titles are good i'm lying <laughs> could you suggest a similar product that I could eventually add to make it a bundle or product line. And I, one of the things I forgot on Teachers Pay Teachers, give guidance. It could be uh, another 
set of boom cards or worksheets, but I would love to hear about something more interactive. Okay. So I'm, I'm asking for a suggestion. So let's see what they say. One. Okay. Now I'm doing subtraction 10, which is actually what I'm working on. <laughs> okay. Spring themed math center activities, printable and digital, uh, Google slides or a seesaw math game. A seesaw I used to use during, especially during the pandemic. I don't know how, how popular it is. Um, I'd have to go to seller spy. A lot of what they're going to suggest, I'm going to take these over to seller spy. I'm not just going to take chat GPT at face value because again, they're curating this information that it already exists. So some of these things would already exist. A spring themed escape room would be kind of fun, but I'm going to ask is Seesaw and see how they got the TM there still popular with teachers. I'm curious. This is what I was looking for. This right here is, this has been added within the last, I want to say six months. They're giving you their sources and that's what's really important. So they're saying that it is, as of 2023, it boasts, boasts over 25 million users. That's actually a pretty decent number. Okay, so maybe it would be worth to create a Seesaw activity or an activity that would easily be uploaded to Seesaw. So it's giving me ideas for possible things. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you there. About a week ago, I asked, I'm working on an Earth Day um, math project for my class. And I was just curious as to an image that they would give me. So I'm showing you right here, the image that they created for me. Okay. So it looks really, really cute, doesn't it? I mean, it, it has TPT in the middle and I could probably ask chat GPT to remove, remove that and maybe put my logo or something like that in. However, if you look down here, it says where I wrote, where did you get the clip art? Is it free for commercial use? Remember it's curating information from the internet. So this, image of some sort already exists to some extent, the clip art. So it says, good question. The cover image was AI generated, meaning it doesn't use third party clip art. Everything in the image is unique and not sourced from stock graphics or copyrighted materials. However, if you're selling on TPT, it's best to ensure all elements comply with commercial use guidelines. And that is a big thing. A TPT seller in a Facebook group just had um, a takedown notice of a resource where she used an AI generated image and the conversation, I was listening and just reading things and I'm thinking nobody is getting to this point right here, but finally someone brought it up going just because it's AI generated doesn't mean it's free to use. Okay, you have to get that in writing, right? That's why I said it. They're say, telling me this doesn't necessarily comply with commercial use guidelines. What was very interesting is I said, uh, I, I let me get to that part of the conversation. They said, would you like a new cover using commercially safe clip art instead? I can also design a Canva template. And I said, yeah, that would be great. And what was crazy about it is it couldn't, it couldn't do this. I waited and I waited. I probably waited about 50 minutes, right? I'm doing some other things. And I kept coming back and kept saying, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And then finally the uh, limit for the day hit and then it stopped. So I couldn't, I couldn't talk to about this particular thing. I could talk about other things. And then the next day I came back and they said, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And it never appeared. It never appeared. And yet kept saying, well, listen, if you need it, just let me know and I will get it for you. But they never could do it. And I think that's part of chat GPT's limit. And at the same time, I don't want to be 
using chat GPT for that. If I'm honest, I really like having fun with conversations. I had a conversation about store branding statements, which we talked about in a, uh, about a month ago about having that message. And actually, maybe I'll quickly show you that conversation if I can pull it up. So this was, it was a little bit too wordy. And, but at the end of the day, I took this one says, Hey, here's a revised branding statement that incorporates your keywords. So I had to give chat GPT my keywords and by giving them my keywords, it made a better statement. And I use probably a ha at least half of this, maybe 60% of this. And I have that currently on my store. Okay. I'm still going to tweak it because it's still not quite right, but it's so much better than what it was. That's chat GPT. Hello, I'm coming at you interrupting this footage or stop this video for two reasons. Reason number one, AI is massive. And just to add even, even another 15, 20 minutes to this video, wouldn't do it, it justice. And even as I'm editing, I'm coming up across, uh, I was playing again this week and I thought, oh, I should have talked about that. Oh, I so I'm cutting it off now. So that gives you a good look at chat GPT. And the second reason is I have now set up boundaries for my working day and we're getting real close to my cutoff time. And so I want to honor that. And I still want to honor you by giving you a video for this coming weekend. So that's why I'm doing this. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, and I'm already leading. We'll catch you in that video or that playlist. We'll have another AI video coming to you shortly. Take care.